And there's three major myths in paintball that they, they've been around for years, ever since I started paintball. First myth is there's always the sniper story of a guy that um, shot another player out at 200 yards using his modified, uh, you know, sniper or spider or whatever it is, um, which, which has never happened at 200 yards. Um, there's always the... The uh, woods ball story of the sniper that was hiding up in the, uh, that was playing woods ball and was hiding up in a tree, okay, which never happened, okay. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of places uh, that, that I wouldn't mind hiding while playing woods ball. Hiding in a tree, probably about the worst place you'd ever, ever want to be out on a paintball field. But people love telling that story. Yeah, I was out there playing woods ball. I was sniping up in a tree and, and, and yeah, I shot out the whole other team. It's like, what? No, you weren't. If I saw somebody up in a tree and I started shooting at them, I can't even imagine how they would end up getting down. Probably landing on their head. And on top of that, the fact that how the hell would they even get up there by the time the other team sees them? It's like, here, hold my gun. Let me crawl all the way up this tree and go up there 20 feet up the tree. Now hand me my gun, okay? It just, it just doesn't happen. And on top of that, how are you going to get down? Okay, so you're up there 20 feet up in a tree, and then you get shot out. Okay, how are you going to get down? Are you going to climb a tree with one hand? No, you ended up falling out of it like an acorn. And the last one, which is haunted paintball since, since the day it started, is the myth about freezing paintballs. And probably the last one, freezing paintballs, is probably the one that, that scares most people away from playing paintball. Um, uh, you know, the general public doesn't know that paintball shells are made out of gelatin. A lot of them think that they're made out of plastic. They don't know that um, the, the internals of the paintball, was that made of like polypropylene glycol, I think is what it's called, PPG. It's not water. A lot of people think that the that paintballs inside of them are water. So they think that if you freeze them, that they turn rock hard. And, and actually, nothing can be further from the truth. Now, if you freeze a paintball, which, which I've done here, will it be kind of hard for a short period of time? Yes, it will be, okay, if you leave them overnight in the freezer. What's the likelihood of somebody actually taking them out of the freezer, putting them in, a, in an ice cooler, getting them to the field, and by the time the game starts, them still being rock hard, not really going to happen. Now, something that a lot that the public doesn't understand about the gelatin capsules that are used to that are used to cover paintballs is that when you freeze them, they get more brittle, not more hard. They get more brittle. So as you're shooting it, the shells are just flying off of this thing, and you can't hit anything trying to shoot frozen paintballs. If you don't believe me, buy some paint. Uh, put it in the freezer, immediately take it out into your backyard and shoot it. You're going to see. It's going to be like, uh, it, it's going to look like those golf balls that get hit, you know, like at the like at the driving range, those golf balls that are hit by the lawnmower and the shells are missing off of them. That's what the paintballs look like when they come out of it. Now, something else that a lot of people don't talk about is if you try to freeze paintballs, and I've left these in my, in my freezer for, I don't know, I think it was about a week. I finally remembered to do this show. Um, but something else that happens is that once the air hits it and once you take it out of the freezer, the condensation is unbelievable uh, that's going to get on here. And as we know, water and paintballs don't mix. As the paintballs get, uh, get moist or condensation gets on them, as you guys saw in the Super Gun Show, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 guns start breaking paint. Paint starts going all over the place. So the balls are going to start to condensate. And as they start to condensate, they're going to get more and more mushy on the outside. And it, as it's going to start coating the barrel, and you're not going to be able to hit anything. So what I want to do is try to dispel this myth is, is, you know, obviously you always hear, yeah, I took paintballs, I put them in the freezer and went outside and shot them through my car door. It's like, what? No, you didn't. Okay, so these paintballs are frozen. And what I'm going to try to show you here is this is my, uh, my temperature gauge, okay? You guys have seen this on the Super Gun Show, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it against my skin, and my skin is registering about 87 degrees on the temperature gauge. I'm going to stick it inside here, and hopefully you guys can see this. I doubt you can, though. Okay, looks like the paintballs are reading about... Uh, about 25 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and hopefully you can see that, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit uh, on the paintballs. And these are pretty good paintballs. Okay? This is, I believe this is uh, RP Sure Premium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour these out, and I'm going to show you that something about these right off the bat that you're going to notice is that a lot of them are dimpled. Okay, 
I don't know if you can see like on this one, okay, severely dimpled, already ready to come apart. Um, all, most of these are starting to crack, come apart. I mean, look at that. You're not going to hit anybody with this. And then, as you can see also, these are frozen. Now watch how easy it is to break these, okay? It's just coming apart in my hand, okay? You can't, you know, regular paintballs, normal room temperature paintballs don't do this. Something that causes the dimples is that inside of the paintballs is a little bit of air. And when the air gets cold, the air shrinks, okay? It's like with hot air balloons. They get hot, they expand. When the air gets cold, it shrinks. And the little bit of air bubbles that are in here, when you try to freeze them, what's going to happen is, is the air bubbles are going to shrink, which are going to pull the gelatin capsule down, which is going to cause a massive divot, as you see right here. And, and you can just take your finger and just go right through this stuff, okay? And it's like a little bit of a slushy on the inside. Okay, so you just take your finger and you just put it right through the paintballs and it makes a nice big mess. I mean, look at this. It's just coming apart, you know, coming apart in my hands. Here's another paintball. I'll just take it, put my fingernails through it. Um, you know, so this is one of the biggest things that, that scares the shit out of people about playing paintball is the fact that they think they're going to face somebody who's doing this. One, if anybody, if you see somebody at a paintball field trying to take paintballs out of liquid nitrogen, okay, you need to notify the field owner. Now, I will say, for the people that have never played paintball and are afraid of something like this happening, professional teams, uh, and there's one team called Joy Division, is, is very well known for doing this. They will take paintballs, they will put them in a refrigerator to chill them down. Not to make them harder, but to make them more brittle and a better chance of them breaking on their opponents. So by making the paintballs more brittle, they think that they can gain a competitive edge if they happen to maybe scrape a knuckle or nick a piece of soft rubber mask or, or maybe a, you know, a bunching up of fabric uh, that would normally not break with a room temperature paintball. They think that by chilling it down, it will make it more brittle, which it will. So in, in, in the grand scheme of things, does, is freezing paintballs anything that you would have to be concerned about out on the paintball field? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In 19 years I've been playing, I've never seen somebody out there with a liquid nitrogen science set trying to deep freeze paintballs to go out there and hurt somebody, okay? It just doesn't happen. Uh, do some paintball players uh, refrigerate their paintballs in a tournament setting to, to uh, try to give them a competitive edge to make the paintballs more brittle? Yes. So what, does that equal more pain? No, that equals less pain. I've been hit with refrigerated paintballs, and believe me, I don't even feel it. Because the paintball shells are so gentle, uh, so brittle that when it hits off the body, it just, I mean, just comes apart. There's barely any impact whatsoever. So this is just not something that normal paintball players have to worry about. I mean, you can see now as these things are starting to warm up just slightly, you know, you're able just to take your finger and just put it right through it. You know, look at this. I mean, these paintballs are just coming apart in my hand. And this is RP Sheer Premium. So. Uh-oh, looks like Madison's starting to wake up. So that's it for the Freezing Paintball Show. Email me if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in.